Hello again. So in this video, we're going to um, just quickly have a look at how you can test your trading strategies um, on a portfolio of stocks using Ami Broker. The first thing you'll want to do is come to the Ami Broker website and just download their software. For for the purpose of this video, um, we're just going to be using their their free version, um, which has all the same functionality as the version you have to pay for. Uh, the downside being you can't save any of your settings. Um, you can't save any of your portfolios. Um, so, so really, if you think you're going to spend um, much time testing, then um, really you should probably think, uh, think about buy buying the actual software. But anyway, on the left hand side of the screen here, uh, where it says download, just make sure you download Ami Broker. Now, once that's uh, downloaded, you will want to um, come to your desktop or look in your programs um, and just open up the software. So double click Ami Broker and that will bring you up this screen. Now, the first thing you will need to do um, before testing your strategies is to tell Ami Broker what markets you want to test on. So to do that, we will need to first create uh, a list of stocks and then download the historical price data. Now, we do that using um, the software which was automatically downloaded with Ami Broker called Ami Quote. Come into your programs and in your Ami Broker folder, you'll have Ami Quote. Open up Ami Quote, and here we are. Now, to add the stocks, uh, what you would do is click the little yellow button, and then you just type in the ticker symbols. Make sure that you put a comma between each of them. Okay, so I've typed in five ticker symbols there. Just click OK, uh, and as you can see, you now have a list of the stocks that you want to test your strategies on. Now, to download the price data, as you'll see here, the source of our price data is going to be the uh, price data provided by Yahoo. Now, you can use uh, many other types of data providers, uh, but Yahoo is free. Um, so again, for this example, that's fine. You can also specify uh, the date range that you want the data to include. Um, I'm just going to run it right from the earliest it allows us to, which was the 1st of January 1995. And the last thing is to make sure that you've ticked the automatic import. So to download the price data, click on the start download button, which is this little green triangle. Now, once that's done, we want to save the, the list we've created. So if you just click on file, click save as, and we'll save it to our desktop. And we're going to call this um, uh, test. There we are. That's fine. So we'll call that test. And then the last thing we need to do is to add... Um, the historical price data for the SPY. So again, just click the little yellow cross, uh, type in SPY, capital letters, click OK, start your download. And once that's done, again, you'll just want to save that as uh, we'll call that SPY. Save it somewhere, you know you can find it easy later. Click on save. Okay, so we've now imported all, all of our data to Ami Broker. Now, to begin testing, we first need to assign our list of stocks on this page where you have this uh, selection of markets, groups, etc. Just come down to watch lists, right click, and then you want to import. So click on import. Make sure that the correct list is highlighted. So list nine is the list we want. Click on OK. And then you'll want to uh, find the file that you just saved. So if you remember, we wanted our test stocks. So click on test, open. And there you are. We have the five stocks that we want to test our strategy on. Now, in a separate list, we're going to want to um, import the SPY. So just click on uh, another list, right click. Uh, and this time, we don't need to necessarily import. We can just uh, type in the symbol because it's only one symbol. SPY, OK. So we now have uh, the basic setup ready to test. The next thing we'll need to do is obviously to write our code. Now, I'm not going to just uh, to kind of teach how to write code in Ami Broker. Uh, it would take me too long. It's uh, it would, um, you know, and actually it would put a lot of people off who 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 aren't really interested in writing their own code. 
Um, now, if you do, though, want to learn, and I, w I would suggest it is a very useful thing to know how to write your own backtesting codes. What I would suggest, uh, if that does interest you, is to buy any AMI broker related book written by an author named Howard Bandy. Absolutely brilliant information in there. Um, for the beginner um, and it, it, if you like the AMI broker software and you want to learn more about it and learn more about how to write the code for it then um, books by Howard Bandy highly recommended uh, and also the AMI broker help files themselves are extremely informative but for our purposes um, what I've done is I have included the pre-written code for the breakout strategy counter trend strategy and weekly breakout strategy included in my book uh, and I've just included that in the downloads file under the video. Um, so feel free to download those uh, Word documents and then you can just copy and paste the code into AMI Broker. Once you have copied the code, the way you uh, enter it into AMI Broker is to just click on Analysis, New Analysis, and that gives you this page. Now to enter the code into uh, your AMI Broker software, just come across to the top of the screen here and you have this little edit icon so left click on that you'll probably have an empty box now I've already um, got my my breakout strategy written in here um, but if you've got an empty box you know as I said before you can just download um, excuse me you can just copy the code from the download section on my website paste it in here once you've pasted the code in um, you can begin to test your strategies. Um, now, just a quick overview. We've got our SPY um, filter up here. So we've told the system that we want um, the fast moving average to be above the uh, slow moving average for us to be allowed to buy our, our stocks. Uh, and then we just have our basic rules. So we're only allowed to buy if the price is over $5 and the volume is uh, greater than one and a half times the volume moving average. The volume uh, is more than 100,000 shares. Um, the moving average is in the right order. We've closed above the upper Donchian channel. The training stop loss amount is five times ATR. Uh, and our position size is always going to be $200 um, between our entry and our stop loss. So remember, that doesn't mean that we're buying $200 worth of stock. But um, if we get stopped out of a trade, we will lose $200 of our account. Uh, this final little bit position score is just um, let's say for example we had two signals on the same day but we didn't have enough, enough money in our account to trade both signals we need a ranking score and um, so the system knows which trade to take um, so in this case we're just going to use whichever um, stock has the higher moving average so what you then do just minimize the little box there and then you need to tell the system what dates you want your test to run on so we're just going to go straight from the dates here, that's over 12 years of data. But to change the dates if you so choose, just click on them and you can fiddle around like that, clicking through the boxes. Finally, we need to tell uh, AMI Broker which list we want to test our strategy on. Now you can either choose individual stocks, in which case you would just click on the stock from your list. So over here on the left hand side, highlight the stock you're interested in, click on current, and then you would just click back test. And there you are, it's tested the strategy on Jazz. But what we want to do, and what's um, a much uh, more interesting way of testing, and something which is harder to do with lots of other backtesting software, is we want our system to test on all the stocks in our portfolio. To do that, you would simply go to apply to. In the drop down box, we'll click on filter, and then in this little define filter uh, icon here, just left click that, and then we want to include the watch list of stocks which we created. So ours was list nine, so in the drop down, just click on list nine, click OK, and then if you click back test, you'll see it's now trade our strategy on all of the stocks that belong to our list. Now the interesting part comes where we get to look at the results. So to do so, tick on the little report icon, which looks a bit, a little bit like a spreadsheet. Left click it, 
and here is the report. Now the first screen has given you all your statistics like the net profit in which case was 96%. Uh, at the bottom of the page we have our max system and system drawdown just over 10%. It tells you your percentage of winners and losers. Um, average profit per trade, average loss per trade. So all the, all the types of metrics you, you'd be interested in. You can look at an equity curve chart by just clicking on the charts tab at the top here. The max drawdown chart, the profit table, profit distribution. Um, and looking at the profit distribution, we can see that our strategy, as always, um, has ver very much trend following characteristics in that we never lose more than kind of 25% on a trade, 25% uh, of the stock price that is, um, but sometimes we gain, you know, look at that, one of the trades was 170%. If you want to change settings, just click on the little spanner. You can define what the commission rates are, so we use the commission rates of interactive brokers to keep it realistic. Uh, and you can change the period periodicity. So we can also look at weekly um, data and things like that, which you would use if you were testing the weekly breakout strategy. Um, now, finally, the one thing I just wanted to quickly show you, um, and this is uh, the most interesting thing. If you remember in the book, I explained that once you've tested a strategy and you get a good idea of what the kind of maximum drawdowns to profits are, uh, it then becomes a matter of just changing the risk variable. So if you come back into where you would enter your code, so in the little edit function up here, just left click it. And if you come down to where it says risk, now we're risking $200 at the moment and on our $10,000 account, that's 2%. But we just looked at our reports and we could see that the maximum drawdown of that system when trading this portfolio of stocks was only 10%. Now, some of you may want higher profits and be happier to take larger drawdowns, in which case you might suggest that maybe you're going to risk 5% of your account on each trade. So you would just enter 500 in the risk section here because 500 is 5% of 10,000. Minimize that. And if you just click on back test again, you can then look at your report. And you'll see that the gains are substantially larger than they were when you were only risking 2%. Now, that should be obvious. But the interesting thing then is to see what the maximum system drawdown became when we upped our risk. So now the maximum drawdown is 17%. So it really is um, a, a matter for you to, to decide, you know, what type of drawdowns do you honestly believe you can live through because um, there's no point in aiming for a strategy which is going to make, uh, you know, 400%, 500%. If it's at the expense of having 50 or 60% drawdowns, if you can't honestly say to yourself that if you were sitting in a 50% drawdown, you wouldn't uh, become scared of the strategy and stop trading it. Um, and, and that's something I think which is often overlooked by many traders. They don't consider the, the realities of what it feels like when you're losing money. Um, you know, at the end of a test, it's all very well looking at this equity curve. It's a beautiful line. Uh, it looks, you know, as if it would have been easy. But you really must consider how you would have been feeling, you know, between, let's say, 25,000 when it dropped to 20,000. It's something you have to consider. One other quick, uh, quick note is, as you see here, we have a straight line. Now that's telling us when the SPY filter wasn't allowing us to buy trades, so we just had a flat equity line. Um, that's great though, because the stock markets would have kept falling down in 2008, but we would have um, we would have avoided that by using the market environment filter. Uh, and that's about it, really. Um, if you do have any questions regarding AMI broker or, or testing and coding, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch. In the next video, I'm going to very quickly um, show you how to create and save a list of the ETF markets that we use to keep our portfolio diverse. And um, it, that's also going to be the same list that we use in our diverse uh, ETF correlation matrix. Um, so I'll see you on that video.